Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to sort and filter your matches so that you can find your preferred funder types, your preferred funding uses, and even filter your matches by keyword. We're gonna jump right in and take a look at my matches for this STEM education project. And I can see now I have 300 matches. How do I start to narrow them down to find the best fit funders for me? First off, we're gonna look at these four sorting options. So we sort by best match by default because we're actually using your project's criteria such as your locations, your grant amounts, and your keywords to already sort these by best match. But if you wanted to, you could come in here and sort by deadline, and that's gonna show you grants with a sooner upcoming review cycle to latest, or by amount, so higher grant amounts to lowest, and newest grants published to oldest. To the right of that, you have a filter dropdown where you could filter by funding use if you really want to find those capital campaign funds first or general operating. And then under that, you can filter by funder type and take a look at private foundation grants ahead of government or corporate if you have a preferred funder type. Under that, you have strict location preferences, which is on by default because we are hiding grants where the funder has called out a preference for another location that's not yours. So what I mean by that is that sometimes funders will say that they'll fund anywhere in the US and uh, they'll also say that they have a preference for a certain state like Florida. And if I'm based in California, then that's not really gonna be considered a first tier grant for me because I don't meet their preference. So we're gonna hide them by default, but if you've done a really diligent job of saving your good fit funders, hiding the bad fit ones, you've cleared this inbox down to zero and you have some extra time on your hands, what you can do is you can come in here and deselect strict location preferences and that's going to unhide a whole other list of funders where you do technically meet their overall eligibility, but just not their preference. So if it's a really strong mission alignment, that could still be a potential um, good way to reach out to them. This strict location preferences is also going to explain why sometimes the number displayed for your matches is not matching everything. So here it says displaying 181 out of 300. You're asking yourself, where are the rest of my matches? It's because they're being hidden by strict location preferences. So um, at the very top of your filter options, you have saved or hidden on other projects. These are gonna come in handy as you create more and more projects and you wanna prevent duplicate work across your teammates. What you can do is deselect these top two boxes and it's gonna remove any matches that your teammates may have already saved or hidden when looking at the matches in your other projects. Sometimes we know your projects have overlapping program areas, similar keywords, so that might result in duplicate matches. You'll be able to tell when it's a duplicate match because it has this saved label or hidden label. So if I hover over this, this is telling me someone has already saved this opportunity to these projects in these statuses, and someone has already hidden this opportunity from my other project. So if you only wanna see a list of net new grants nobody has ever saved or hidden, you can deselect these top two boxes and know that these are brand new grants nobody has processed. And then to the right of that, you have a filter option, uh, uh, sorry, a search bar where you can look up any keyword that you would wanna see called out specifically in the grant description. So it's going to do a simple text scan of everything in this funding opportunity tab. And some example keywords you could look up are your own field of work keywords. If I expand all up here, I can see all of my keywords for this project. And let's say that I'm really focused on finding uh, grants for tutoring. I could copy and paste this keyword, tutoring and mentoring, into the matches search bar. And now I'll find all of the grants that specifically call out tutoring and mentoring somewhere in this funding opportunity overview. So it's going to scan this eligibility overview and even the ineligibility as well. And now I can start to prioritize reading these five grants out of the 300 matches. Other things you can look up in the matches search bar are your own um, locations. So if I really wanted to hone in on my local grants that call out San Francisco County, I could type in my county name. 
and know that they will be called out somewhere in this location eligibility. And then if I wanted to flip that and look at the national level grants, then I could look at keywords like United States because then it's going to bring up grants where United States is in this location eligibility. So that means anyone in the US is eligible to apply. So those are a couple ways you can start to sort and filter down using these options and the matches search bar and start to prioritize reviewing the best fit grants for yourself. Take a look at your sorting and filtering options. Try to look up some keywords in the matches search bar and you can come back in here and watch our next video on how to review the 990 insights for funders and find those past giving trends.